Hello everyone, um, sorry it's been a while, um, I've been really busy, um, the reason why I haven't been uploading videos for so long is just I've been hectically busy of college work and all that, um, quiz, and, uh, pretty much everything, pretty much something, yeah. But um, today I've decided I want to do a collection video um, on on this band here, Green Day. Now um, I've been a fan of theirs since twenty fourteen. Yeah, with Dookie. Yeah, the album Dookie. That's the album I listened to a lot since a lot. I heard I liked Basket Case when I was thirteen. I liked. Welcome to Paradise when I was like 11, and now I've got all of them, and I'm going to show you it right now. Okay, so, um, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, um, I've picked out some of the, um, some of the, uh, collection. I'm also going to show you some, the, some of the vinyl later on. These is, um, basically this is going to be the, uh, collection. So, um, let's get right, this started. First up, I want to start off with studio albums first, um... The first album I'm going to pull out here is um, 39 Smooth, or 10,039 Smooth, that's Lucky Hours. It's basically a combine between the their first studio album and their first two EPs, along with um, a song on a compilations album. Um, here's the book. It just has the, um, it just has, every Green Day album with a booklet has the, has the um, lyrics. If you want to know what, the, what they're singing, and... Yeah, this album is basic. This album features um, John Kiffmeyer, aka Al Bronte, on drums. Well, it's similar. To, well, um, it's similar to how um, um, Rush had a different drummer before Neil Peart, but this is, but basically, this is way before the Trey Cool times. And um, yeah, but we're not talking about Rush. We're talking about Green Day. Yeah, this is the original drummer. And the back looks really good. Feels like. It basically feels like the um, feels like something that came out of a um, a vinyl, which I'm which, yeah, it does. And there's the CD. <laughs> I like the CD of this, like as a clock. Wish they wish they put out a clock really. Next album is Kaplunk. Kaplunk. This is their second breakthrough album with their new drummer Trey Cool. Yeah, and same principle again. A little bit of word. A little bit of words there. But this version has songs from Sweet Children EP. And, oh. And yeah, the disc quality. Oh yeah, I forgot to show. Yeah, that's the, that's the um, back. Like that. This is the back of Kaplunk. Track listing. Yeah, they added songs from um, Sweet Children. Is you, they, these two albums used to be on um, Lookout Records. In fact, I've actually watched a documentary about um, punk pop rock. And uh, it's really interesting. It's called Turn It Around, The Story of East Bay Punk. You should go and listen to it. Watch it anyways. And listen to that soundtrack as well. Next, The Breakthrough, Dookie. This is the album that actually got me... In, this is the album that actually... That I actually listened to a lot in year nine. Okay, and also you may notice that um, this pressing has this um, this thing here, this puppet, and um, they actually removed it for reasons, but I don't know why. Brilliant. And there's some pictures of the band. The disc. This is the book. This is the lyrics. This is really, really cool. This basket case. The song I used to listen to a lot in year nine. Honestly. There's a little bit of a story with this album and Dookie. I actually played it a lot during the Easter of 2015. I mean, a lot. Like, tw like way before on its 21st anniversary. Now it's 26 now. Wow. 
up next is Insomniac. By the way, ignore the crack. By the way. Um, this. This is actually really, really arty. And this, and this album's literally good. But this album has fold over. It's fold over. It's a folded up, like. This has double, this is actually a double. This has the full album as the vinyl version, which is, which we'll have a look later on. And this has the lyrics all mi mixed up. No, like, all like in there. Very complex, Green Day. Very good. And plus, it's actually their first. It's actually like a very fast record. 14 songs. Played them fast. Played fast. Next, we have my third favourite Green Day album, Nimrod. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention Dookie's my second. Is my second favourite. This one's my third. Um, yes, this is actually a really good album. This has the, um, this has, um, Nice Guys Finish Last, Hitching a Ride, The Grouch, Redundant, all classic songs, including Good Riddance. There's that. I like the, I like the, um, the CD. Booklet. Hang on. Okay, the booklet here. Um, I had to cut it because I had to get the booklet out. Basically, it has nice guys. It has the lyrics and pictures of the group. Oops. Yep. Well, that is pretty cool. That was actually on the um, on a B side, I think. Desensitized. That was shown on like a on like a vinyl. But yeah. I wonder who the face is under that mask. Oh. Who's that? I don't know. And poor... And the band members timed up. Poor Billy Joe. I like it how the band members are actually like... Marks. Like Billy, Mike and Trey are actually in that. But they have the... Fate, they have the word... They have the um, Prince and Nimrod on it. But um... Yeah, next up, well, we have a warning. Oh, yes. This one is actually a good record. It's their first least, like, selled album. Yeah, they have all the band members. They're actually walking in Chinatown. Fun fact. They're actually walking in Chinatown. Yeah, this album is a bit of a story. Um, when I was ill, um, my mum actually gave me this. Yeah, this is the UK version. I live in the UK because they added a f an extra track from 1996. I would have been fine with the album, with the complete, with, with like the 12 tracks. Like, I would have been fine, like, warning without that track. But it's the UK, but who cares? Anyways, lyrics and pictures of the band. And all that cryptic like stuff. Misery. Is all yeah. Misery is a good song. This has minority, my favourite of my favourite song of the album. And yeah, I know there's other singles, but um yeah. I know there's like Warning and Waiting, I like that song. Macy's Day Parade, that's a good good way to wrap up the warning era. Like but anyways, I want to also talk about um, an album that's unreleased at the time. Before, like, the album that, um, that was originally going to be the follow-up was Cigarettes and Valentines. It was basically, they're going to be their follow-up to this album. But the master tapes got stolen, so they actually turned... So basically, Green Day um, started from scratch with this, with possibly my favourite Green Day album of all time. American Idiot. So, this album was the was the um was the album that got me into them. 
This is the first Green Day album I ever listened to. And a good choice, actually. Because this has a lot of hits. It has American Idiot, Holiday... is American Idiot, Holiday, Boulevard of Broken Dreams, Wake Me Up When September Ends, and the, and the Bohemian Rhapsody of Punk, Jesus of Suburbia. It's brilliant. Like, people say it's the G the um, Bohemian Rhapsody of Punk. Well, it certainly is. This album... By the way, I had another copy of this album, but I lost it. And this is the copy I have. And that's the same principle with the um, Black Parade as well, but we're not talking about them. We're not... That album might come across answers later. There's lyrics. I like... This is actually, like, the same rock album concept. Like, this rock... This rock, this opera, rock opera, our concept, like, concept record, similar to Sgt. Pepper. But this actually tells the story of Jesus of Suburbia. And, and also has characters like, um, basically has characters like, it basically has characters like Jesus of Suburbia, St. Jimmy, and what's your name? Well, in the, uh, Broadway, he's actually Johnny. He's actually named Johnny. I think. I don't know, but he's named that, but I'm not for sure. Favourite Green Day album, five stars. But next we have 21st Century Breakdown. This is actually the second album I listened to. Um, I actually have another story with um, this album. I actually cried to 21 Guns. Just saying, I actually cried to that song. Anyways. It's, this is actually another rock opera as American Idiot. It's a little bit similar to American Idiot, actually. Because, fun fact, because when we go to later, when we tackle the other stuff, um, there's a little bit of similarities. This is actually a re-release. This is actually, no, this, this is not a re-release. I actually got a second copy of that album. That one's cracked. This is the new copy. Yeah. Lyrics. Act. This is split into three acts. This this album. Three part album. Fun fact. I think. Fun fact. The vinyl version. Is like. A triple album. Like. Like I haven't got the vinyl. But. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good record. My favourite track's 21 Guns. And Know Your Enemy. Not gonna lie. There's the uh, Christian Gloria. Yeah, it tells a story about them. It's no longer Jesus of Suburbia and St. Jimmy and what's her name. Christian and Gloria. I like, this is, this is literally my favourite. Out of the, out of the, Back booklets. This is, has to be my favourite. Class 13. And there's a disc. And now we have the trilogy. I'm going to put... I'm going to... Okay, I'm going to put these as, as one. But I'm going to start... Uh, for the trilogy, I'm going to put them as one. So I'm going to start with Uno. This one's my favourite out of the trilogy. Um, another story here with this one, the week, in 2015, um, the week before the, e, the week before, um, half term, my mum actually brought me this rec she went to late, she went to, um, HMV and actually brought this. This album has possibly my favourite photo of the group. And it has the lyrics. I thought that, so basically, Uno Dos Tre is like their least favorite, their least error. And the disc looks pretty good. But by far, I just think Uno is like better than that one, than the other two. And we're going to what, my least favorite Green Day album of all time, Dos. Oh, this album's just really terrible. This is my least favourite Green Day album, but the, some of the songs I actually like on this record. 
And these songs are Stray Heart, Stop When The Red Lights Flash. And by the way, one of the track two actually has... I think it's obvious what track two is, but I'm not going to say the word. As I just... No. Anyways, this also has my favourite photos of the group. Similar photos to, to Kill the DJ. I like Kill the DJ. It's a good album. That's no. What, what, what am I saying? It's a good song. That's a single. That's another single. Oh, and I also like Oh Love from um from that album as well. But yeah. By the way, if you want to know how I'm ranking the songs, that's going to be like really long. But I am actually. I'm also planning on doing a review, like. Something that's inspired by um, something I watched on, on YouTube, but um, yeah. Now, my, my mixed one. This one here, Trey. I mean, out of these, out of the trilogy, this is my favorite. But we're heading, this is Trey, this is the final one. And fun fact, the final track on, the final track on, um. Yeah, this song, the final track, was featured in Twilight, Breaking Dawn Part 2. Oh, 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 this is my mum's least favourite record. Oh yeah, Jason White. He was actually a band member. The only thing I like about the trilogy is the photos. And, and Uno. Possibly my favourite track of this album has to be Missing You. And 99, Missing You, 99 Revolutions. Why isn't that song a hit? By the way, all lyrics, but um, yeah. But now, we have two more albums left. And I'm going to talk about them right now. But I'm starting with their biggest, their probably their best album that they've ever worked on. Revolution Radio. I thoroughly enjoy this album. It has my favourite tour. This album is just... A, basically... It's basically um, a um, Back to Basics album, which... I thoroughly enjoy. And plus the CD. Yeah. This is actually fl flipped. And the CD... It's similar to a vinyl. Case. I thoroughly enjoyed this record during 2016. I actually I pre-ordered the vinyl version on red. And yeah. I've got a new vinyl player that properly plays it because the other one jumps. But this one is my favourite, absolute favourite. The book. The photos. Mmm. Smells good. Lyrics of the here and the band members, yeah. I think this is this version is way more expansive with the expansive with the with the, with the uh, photos, more variety. Favorite photo of that group, and yeah, I also I was actually dying to have the one of the masks, but they are too expensive, unfortunately. And finally. Their latest. Oh boy. Father of all. This album kind of like. Um, what do you say. Um, took some time to get used to. Because I'm actually now hooked. To some of the songs. I'm hooked to. The title track. Like. My favourite track is just. Father of all. And Graffiti Art. And yeah, the disc is actually pretty good. I actually ordered this to get tickets to see them in London, but I didn't get to see them. Disappointing. They have more variety. These folk, the CD versions like have more variety. 
Like, the CD versions actually have, like, more photos. Like, like, I'm not being rude, but I like the, um, vinyl versions. But if you want to actually see more photos, the CD versions are actually pretty good. The vinyl versions, like, have, like, have brilliant photos. The, the rock. Have photos. The CD version like you has like more the CD version like has more photos in the booklet. Including this. This is on this is actually I like this one. And yeah. This is my by the way. Yeah, take money and That's just, yeah, the lyrics are just, yeah, Graffiti is my favourite. By the way, um, this is actually 26 minutes. It's actually their shortest record. I didn't mind it. I'm just, this is just the new era of Green Day, and plus, they're off their contract with um, Warner Brothers. But um, I want to say this for like a future Green Day album, like the one after this. Add more, they should add like more songs than 10 because like they should have like 12 or 13, 13 or 14 if we're lucky. That'll be just brilliant. But um, yeah, so the next one we're going to tackle is the um, other stuff. Greatest hits. We're going to say this is going to be the other stuff. Um, I want to get this out of the way. Um, we're going to start off with the greatest hits. This is inter we have international super hits. This is all the greatest hits, including Maria and Pop Rocks and Coke. I like Maria and also J A R is on here. I like that song. It's actually my favourite song of this record. Of this like greatest hits. And yeah, there's the same body. This is the album that I actually listen to. This is the album that I literally just really think that 2001. This expanded the um. Yep, we have the same principle over here because we have lyrics. Isn't it obvious that we have lyrics? By the way, how's everyone feeling in quarantine? And and I hope you're doing any. I hope you're staying safe and all that. Just listen to you. Just I think the best thing to do is play games, listen to the music. If you have a record or CD, listen to some music. I'll pick vinyl because that I think that has the pretty good sound. Like, yeah, in my opinion. And yeah. Oh yeah, um, I have greatest hits, greatest hits, international super videos. Here's the disc. Okay, um, um, I have international super videos, but just hope I'm careful with this. International super videos has their great music videos. I should do another one, really. There's a seed. That's the uh, disc, and it has songs from the albums. It promotes great international super hits. Next, we have probably like, I think Green Day should do another one of these, but another shenanigans. They should put out another shenanigans, another un unseen stuff, like shenanigans part two. Like, like they should have it like spray paints with the current, with the father of all look, like with the unicorn. But this is shenanigans. There's a disc. Yes, this album covers B-sides, rarities, and covers. And you know what? This is literally like very expensive. My favorite. This is actually around the era that um, Green Day were actually touring with Blink One Eighty Two on that. On the um, 
Pop Disaster tour. I was I was I was like one years old back then, but yeah, this has "Ha Ha You're Dead." My favorite. That has that song. My favorite song, "Ha Ha You're Dead." I know it's kind of rude, but nah. But yeah, I know. Yeah, them in the band. Shenanigans. And now we've got my favorite um, out of the um, greatest hits. God's favorite band. I love this record. I love this one. This was the best way to end the Revolution Radio era. They added 2000 Light Years Away to start off. What a good what a good way to start this. And also, I also want to talk about that Oh Love, my favorite song. My favorite song of um, Uno is actually the only song from the trilogy. This album actually has photos from. Yes, the disc. This has photos from my favorite tour of the group. Being the, the Revolution Radio Tour. Track listing. Lyrics. And what's interesting is that is that they actually added photos of the group. From the past, present, future. From the past, present, and actually future. What a good... Yeah, Dookie error. Somniac and um, uh, Nimrod, Nimrod Error, maybe in Somniac. As far as look like similar to Nimrod, like that one's Dookie. I think these ones are like Nimrod or Insomniac. That is sure Nimrod. Nimrod. They had shows from the past. That's pretty cool. I'm pretty sure that's Nimrod. I mean, I'm pretty sure that's Insomniac, Nimrod, 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 Nimrod. One Insomniac photo. Now we have, like, warning international super hits and American Idiot. American Idiot's also my other favourite one. I also got international super hits, but I'll show you that one, like, when I'm editing it. Milton Keynes. I have that one. By the way, I can actually remember this photo of Back to Back Tracks. Back to the Tracks promo. Like, this is literally a bang. 21st century breakdown of American Idiot photos. This is literally like really good. I was so hyped like in 2017 to get this collection and I got it on Spotify. But my favorite track is actually the new song back in the USA. This song is literally, in my opinion, is the best way to wrap up a brilliant to wrap up a brilliant era for Green Day. There it is. And it also has um, some some who mixed it, who actually mixed these songs and all that, who produced them. But yeah, Revolution Radio Tour is just my favourite tour. What a great way to end Revolution Radio with this. With this. Perfect. Now we're going into... To, um, now we're going into some... Um, Live ones. Now we've got some live, a live form. Now we've got the others, the other materials. First off, this is the CD ones. We're going to start off with the American Idiot Broadway show. Wow. This, I have no, I haven't been to see it, but it looks really good. Wow. It includes a like unreleased song. Because it actually includes that song, When It's Time. I actually had to get it because of that song. So, American Idiot is obviously my favourite album. Oh, yeah, this is actually a double album. With eight tracks. Eight or nine tracks. I think... Yeah... They also have songs from 21st Century Breakdown. Basically photos of the band and the um, stage, the actors as well. Oh yeah, this, I think this, I think one of the um, actors, yeah. The character's name's Johnny. One of the actors actually competed against John Lambert, the new frontman of Queen. 
which I actually watched that documentary, but Queen's next. Because next is a bit of Queen one. And then next is the Beatles. But yeah, this is the, all this is just brilliant. Uh, yes, it has the same principle, 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 principle. Photos. And lyrics. And it's really long. This soundtrack. It's a cast recording. That's from, I think that's from What's Her Name. Or, or whatever. I haven't been to see the show, but yeah. This is a soundtrack. This literally like. I, there we go. Um. There we go. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, it also has favorite song on there. That was actually a song. That was like unreleased. They should have unreleased that. They should have released that in that compilation. Now we have Awesome as FK. This is their live album on the 21st Century Breakdown tour. I actually like, but the only downside to this one, it doesn't have basket taste on it. Like... It doesn't have basket case. Oh yeah, this is actually a CD and DVD live. This is from to the uh, DVD is actually from Tokyo. Live in Japan, my favorite country, Japan. This album has an unreleased song, "Cigarettes and Valentines." Right. "Cigarettes and Valentines" is like their their unreleased album. If they're gonna make, if they're gonna actually doing out if they're gonna actually re-release that song if they're gonna go back to their roots i think that out i think that i think they should re i think they should re-record that album that song and we can hear the studio version of it yeah, that's the last one those are photos from the from the tour and yeah now we have dvd dvds we're gonna start with this one this is Quattro, the making, the behind the scenes of Uno Dos Tre. And it's the same, look at that. The, I got this like in 2018. The best year. My best year. Okay, Quattro. Oh yeah. This is my poster and there's Green Day and all that. Green Day and, and, and non-Green Day stuff. But yeah. Anyways, this is a photo of the behind the scenes. I am just brilliant. I like the banner. What a good that what is that is good. Yeah. Jason Freeze is just brilliant. Jason Freeze is actually a touring member. But I'm not I don't know why he's like like um not on the other studio albums. But anyways, the latest about documentary, a heart like a hand grenade. I got this for Christmas, I think. I got this for Christmas for like 2016. This has... One book of Billy with the... Of making that, of making the heart grenade. But yeah, I took this like 18 chapters. Credit slash overture. Yeah, that, that was just brilliant. Now, um, we're going to go through some merchandise now. Um, I picked up some um, merchandise and um, later on, like, when I'm editing the video, I'm actually going to show off the rest as well. So anyways, I want to start off with the badges. And this, this is the um, ne this is the uh, keychain that I shown at the beginning of the video. So yeah. Anyways, these are the Revolution Radio badges. Um, these are um, these I got these for Christmas. Oh yeah, I have a beanie. I actually have a beanie as well, but I'll show that later. I'll show that off as well. But yeah, these, basically that's what I got for Christmas. But these, I got them in like H&V. These are the Uno Dos Tray badges. I like them. 
I should stick this on my badge, on my, my jacket. But, yeah. Green Day. And, uh, you know. I'll just show you that. This is literally really good. And, yeah. But, anyways. Now, let's get back. Let's get the t-shirts. This t-shirt here is the Revolution Radio one. This is when I... This is actually when, um... I went to see them. This is when I went to see them. This t-shirt is when I went to see them on March, on February 8th, 2017. The day I had a dodgeball tournament, blah, blah, blah. Who gives a, who gives a monkeys? Oh yeah, I also got an American Idiot, but I'm gonna show that one off later. But this is Dookie. I was looking for that one. I liked this one. It's actually really good. Dookie as Dookie. That's my second favorite Green Day album. And finally, rounding off this collection that I've got, uh, picked out. This is probably the the flag that I went that I got on tour. That I got on tour. That I went on when I went to see Green Day on the Revolution Radio tour. The Revolution Radio flag. Focus. That's pretty All right. Now, um, I'm going to be a little bit running out of time, but the rest um, I'm going to put out tomorrow. Um, I'm going to I'm going to pull up the uh, vinyl. Vinyl, Green Day vinyl. And they are here. Um, we have Kaplunk. This actually has um, the Sweet Children EP. Oh. This is Sweet Children on it. And plus it has My Generation. The CD version is in one disc. The vinyl version. But yeah, the vinyl has yeah it was on like yeah the vinyl was literally pretty good I'll show the vinyl off of that this was actually this one was actually released on different like on a different record label but yeah Um, Dookie on vinyl and notice the change there is no pup, pup Muppet I don't know why but yeah this is the vinyl vinyl version it has the uh, this is the vinyl itself that I got this in 2017 the um, Gods of a Band era and uh yeah, but also he has a booklet. I like the... I absolutely prefer these versions of... Prefer these versions. I like how they managed to put cram... To cram in all the lyrics on this... On here. And here's the... Images of the band. This is what I like about the final version. Is that... With the... With those photos. Photos and... And yeah... Sorry, I'm just insomniac. Sorry, I had to cut that out there. It's just getting the dookie one out there in there, but yeah, insomniac has a different. Yeah, I like this one. It's actually pretty good. Sounds matter. Sound matters. And here's the lyrics. You want the paper? There's no photos of the group. It's just lyrics. To be fair, this is actually like I like this version of Insomniac more than the CD version. Look at it. Very expansive. Now we have um, 
Nimrod, my favourite version of Nimrod, on my fifth favourite Green Day album. Lyrics for the band. And this one, interestingly, the vinyl is gold, is yellow. Wow. And I'm gonna have to show you um side two, like side three. Vinyl to this is actually a double album. Like it's good as a double album. This is literally like my favorite album. Even though it's like double album, it's still still good. I got this for Christmas anyways, two thousand and of two thousand and four seventeen. Now, side four. Now, side four is actually an edging. If you can see, it spells the band's name, Green Day. Just gonna clear it. Mm -mm. It has. If you can see it, sp spells Green Day. This is literally like good. To be fair, they could have put in more to that. I like, I actually like the ed the edging on there, really. Pressing on there. I'll just get a second copy and just put that on there. Just, yeah. Now we have my favourite version of American Idiot. American Idiot actually has... Has these flags because the um I heard the um the Black Friday one actually has a different one and that's the same principle with that the side two this is actually American Idiot is actually a double album to be fair it actually works as a double album it's still good but yeah now we have Revolution Radio the red vinyl I'm very imp I'm very Proud of the um, I'm literally just really loving the red vinyl. Look at it, red, red, redness. Can't get listen to this album like in full on vinyl, it gets so redder than that. Brilliant. Lyrics and photos of the group. Which is just them wearing the mask. But um yeah, we've got two more. Um we've got Father of All. This is my favourite version of this album. Because because Yeah, there's a lyrics. This is actually really good because I am in love with the vinyl itself. Yeah, this is actually on site. Because I'm actually pretty good. It's actually puke. It's actually rainbow puke. It's in it's in this. It's literally in this colour. I actually picked this one. And um Yeah. But yeah, this is my favorite favorite version of Father of All, the new album, which is the vinyl version. I should have got the um, uncensored version, but that's sold out. But um, yeah, the red one looks pretty interesting, and the I like, but on the bright side, yeah, this is this is the album that, on the bright side, um, is got to a band. Now, this is a double album. And this is like the gatefold. This is the vinyl. Side one and side two. But the booklet has the lyrics. The lyrics. And that's that. Basically, the other side is basically that. Basically, it's a double album and it has the same vinyl sticker and yeah. And finally, we have 7-inch. I have the whiskey. 
on the Hello Mega show. And this has the unicorn again. American Idiot and the new song. I actually like the Father of All Live one. And uh, I have forgot something on Kaplunk. Um, I actually forgot these to show off the booklet. Yeah. My Adventure of Green Day. Which is and the lyrics. Bye. This person there. And this is the adventure. And yeah. Uh, that's what I want to say. And yeah, that's Kaplunk. Again. I may have forgot something on Kaplunk. Um, I actually forgot these to show off the booklet. Yeah. My Adventure of Green Day. Which is there and the lyrics. Bye. This person there. And this is the adventure. And yeah, that's what I want to say. And yeah, that's Kaplunk. Again. <sighs> Thanks so much for watching. Um, it was worth the wait for a new video. Um, I'm hopefully going to do more of this, but yeah, just everyone. So um, anyways, stay safe. Wash your hands. Get to good spirits. Um. Listen to your vinyl, listen to music, play games, or if you're really in a kick of it, just listen to just listen to some music, like this one, American Idiot. But anyways, thank you for watching, and um, 